Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a quick demo of Markdown Magic on this demo repo. So real quick, we have a repository set up with really nothing in it but a super bare bones Markdown file, which you can see here. A code snippet that I have in my source code here. And a script that uh, includes the Markdown Magic uh, package. So once you've installed Markdown-Magic uh, with NPM, you can uh, go ahead and use it. So let's actually see what it looks like. So inside of readme.md, uh, all I need to do is include these tags. So auto-generated content, this is customizable, um, and then give it a command to run. So out of the box, there's two commands, code and remote, and that's all in the docs. You can read up on that. Uh, but you can also provide your own custom commands via plugins, uh, and that's also the main README. But uh, yeah, so I'm go I went ahead and I have this code uh, that's in my example project here, and I want to keep this in my README uh, so it doesn't go out of sync. So let's just say my code example. And, uh, you know, it's like a huge pain to, you know, if you update your code in somewhere deep down in source and have to go update readme docs. Um, so that's really why this was created. Uh, but it's also to automatically generate docs, automatically add tables of contents, pull in remote content, etc. The you're, It's really up to your imagination. Uh, but let's go ahead and run this demo. So I've, I went ahead and plugged in this uh, node script that I have here uh, to NPM scripts. So inside of my repo, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the readme. So if I just go ahead and run uh, NPM run docs, that will go ahead and run my custom script and it's went ahead and updated the readme.md there. Cool. So boom, there we go. So inside of uh, my readme now, I have the generated code snippet, it, it adds a, an additional line here. Uh, I might remove this later, but, uh, and it adds in the uh, correct syntax highlighting based off the file type. Uh, optionally, you can specify a different syntax if you want, but um, yeah. So now, uh, you know, if I went in and w I wanted to add more stuff, so like alert, cool. So now like already my docs are out of date. So like in my build step or however you wanna do it, you can just go ahead and run npm run docs and boom, it went ahead and updated it with the correct updated code. So great, my docs are up to sync. Let's go ahead and get add that stuff, get add docs, get commit update read me cool and i'm going to go ahead and push this the master and i'm using git open from paul iris to do this go uh, and boom we can see there is our synced code example uh, and there's no limit to how many of these blocks that you have in your code um, again it's pretty pretty wide open uh, you can also pull in remote so that's the other command is remote and you can pull in like raw JSON or what have you from the internet and transform it with your custom function. And that's actually what I'm using to generate a serverless uh, community repo table uh, because maintaining a table in README is rather painful. So this table that you see is generated from this plugins.json file. But uh, yeah, and you can see that example here um, with my custom transformation. Cool. Uh, I went ahead and set this up with git hooks so it automatically updates all my readme files but um, yeah it's really up to your imagination how you want to implement this in your CI CD system or whatever. Uh, so that's one example of what you can do and let's take a look at the actual package. So markdown magic we include that uh, the first argument is the path to the readme file that we want to update. The second is the configuration, which the configuration is all documented in the main Markdown Magic repository. Uh, and then optionally a callback as the last parameter. Um, and if we go ahead and flip over to the actual repo, uh, 
all the repo docs are uh, currently being automatically generated. Well, there's some bits that I've written in and then some code snippets that I'm pulling directly from source. Um, but all the options are listed out there and you can see a bunch of different examples. So here I'm actually using uh, the callback functionality to git add the chain markdown file and then automatically git commit it. Um, that is automatically updated with markdown magic. So that's pretty nifty. Um, and then we also have some examples, uh, an example of how to use plugins. So plugins are really simple to set up. Um, you can, very similar to post CSS and Webpack, um, you can provide options into a plugin for users to override. Um, but really the, the um, signature is like right here. And that is listed in the readme as well. You can see a couple of things. I have uh, two custom commands, which this API might change to transforms. But yeah, so this is one example. So inside of my readme file, if I use this uh, tag, uh, I can pass in options and what have you and manipulate the contents and return them back. And uh, as well, this is actually what's generating the documentation here for the different um, transforms. So all this stuff that you see right here is pulling directly from source based off of the render docs. Um, I guess transform or command, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then here's that plugin example. So you can imagine this pulling in from NPM and I'm giving it my options. And that's why the plugin example is returning a function. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy Markdown Magic. Uh, and let me know what you think. I'm definitely open to suggestions and ideas. Um, but yeah, cool.